welcome back. We're going to do some more mindfulness activities. But before we begin, let's do some mindful breathing. So let's get into our mindful bodies. Okay, if you're sitting on a chair, we're sitting up straight. If you're sitting on the floor, you're going to sit crisscross applesauce. Keep your feet planted on the floor. It's really important that you keep your body still. You're going to put your hand on your anchor spot, okay? If you don't know what an anchor spot is, you put your hand on your heart, okay? And we are going to close our eyes. So let's get into our mindful bodies. We'll do one minute of mindful breathing. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Open your eyes. Place your hands on your shoulders. Repeat after me. I am kind. I am smart. I am important. Give yourself a hug. Okay, great job. Okay, let's get into the activities. The first one is some mindful coloring. Um, I know some of you have been doing that in your classroom with your teachers. If you go into Google on the search engine, you can type in free mindfulness coloring pages and a whole bunch of coloring pages will pop up. Um, if you don't know where to look or you don't have a printer to print it out, you can just make one at home. So what you could do is take a piece of paper like this and you can it up into a ball. Okay. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to smooth out the wrinkles, okay? And once you do that, you'll notice that your paper has many wrinkles in it. What you can do is color each wrinkle, okay? And this will require, require you to focus, to pay attention, because you're looking at where the wrinkles begin, where they end, if you want to do patterns, um, if you want to do different colors and just coloring in general is very relaxing. I love to color. Um, it's just a nice quiet activity. Um, we can get very creative with it. Okay. So again, you're just making it into a ball and then you're smoothing the paper out. Okay. So you notice I was coloring some of the wrinkles that I noticed. Okay. So that's one activity that you can do. The other one which I've done with the third grade classes is writing your name in a mindful way. Okay, so when we write our first and last name, we just write it down, right? But when we do it mindfully, we do it very slowly, okay? We take our time making the lines, making the curves, okay? We pay attention to the pencil how it feels, how we're gripping on it, okay? We're paying attention to the pencil connecting to the paper. So you can write your name down three times in a mindful way. This should take you a while to do, even if you have a short name. And I'm going to challenge you 
if you find that that's too easy, easy, try writing your name with your opposite hand. Okay, so I'm a righty, so I would try to write it with my left hand. And you'll notice that you really need to pay attention to what you're doing because you're not used to writing your name like that. Okay, so I just wrote Mrs. I don't know if you can see. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job. But you notice I stopped talking because I had to focus on what I was doing. So you could do that as your name or you can trace your hand. Again, you are going to do this. I'm actually going to do it with a marker so you can see better. Slowly pay attention to how the marker feels against your fingers. Okay, slowly go up, slowly go down. You can even start breathing, doing some mindful breathing, breathing in as you go up and then breathing down as you go down, taking your time, notice how the lines are made, every curve, just really taking your time. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, and I did it a little bit quicker than I would want to, only to save us some time. But that's me mindful tracing my hand, okay, in a mindful way. So that's another activity that you can do, okay? The last one, you're going to take a couple of objects. And this is something that you can actually play with someone else. So these activities you can do on your own. If you want to play with a sibling or your parents, okay, you can grab a bag, okay, put some objects in the bag, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand in it and you're going to feel for an object. You're going to notice what you feel. So my hand is in here something hard, something round, I'm pressing it and it's really hard. So I'm going to guess a ball, which I was right, a tennis ball, okay? And then again, oh, this one is mushy, squishy. Really, really cold, hard, and it's making a plasticky noise. I have no idea what this is. My husband put the objects in this bag. Let's see what it is. An avocado. <laughs> A squished up avocado. Okay? But this was what was squishy. This one was hard. And the bag is what I was hearing making the noises. Okay, another one. A cat meowing. Minnie Mouse, so it has to be like a Mickey or Minnie Mouse toy from my children. I was right. Okay, so this is a fun guessing game that you can play with somebody else. Um, you guys could just take turns and put a whole bunch of objects in the bag. Notice what you're feeling, the temperature, is it cold, is it hot, is it hard, is it soft, is it making noises, does it smell? Okay, using all your senses. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these activities and I'll see you real soon. Bye.